Almighty. Okay. Do you believe in God? I do believe in God. Okay, interesting. So what we do is we connect these things back to God Almighty. Because yeah. we believe he's the one that's uh, as Shafi. Yeah. So he's the one that is the Shafi. healer. Yes. So that's one of his uh, attributes. Yeah. Okay. So what we see is that he is the one, for example, the healer. Yeah. yeah? The sustainer, the provider. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what we're seeing is in a nutshell that we turn to him if we're going through any kind of hardship, uh, yeah. whatever it may be, uh, loss yeah. of a loved one. Yeah. So we understand and put, yeah. So yeah. So we put the, we turn our trust to God Almighty. So obviously there's God can heal, but there's also doctors. Yeah. So obviously I don't know if what you do is permissible in Islam. I don't really know. Like I don't need to go to the nitty gritty. Well, so so we go from. So there's two ways that we go about from helping someone, and we go into the we go into the context of their problem, and if if the if our approach with the context of resolving their context, then we go into the structure. So for instance, I could I could so let's say you're stressed out. I would say to you, if your stress had a shape, what shape would you give it? Yeah? Okay. So then we go into we we define we define something. Okay. And then there's a technique that we use where I could we. We calm your stress down by uh, by spinning that shape, okay. you know. And I can do this. You can spin it one way, and it, your stress will become more. You spin it the other way, and it will become less. Okay. And it's just, and you can do that with anything. So really. is, it, is so it like is it like a hack? Like it's like it's yeah. like you're hacking. You're yeah. not it's you're not necessarily hack. healing. You're basically what you're doing. Hacks. You're hacking it. Yeah. So you're just diverting not or di retuning. Retuning. Re okay. Retuning. Yeah. So how do you do that with yourself? Do you have problems in your life where that doesn't really help? I mean, it can be a temporary help, but is there a point where you're like, okay, you know what? Maybe I need to turn to God. Um, no, because I am confident in God's uh, in what God has given me. You know? Okay. And I've got an internal locus of control. Some people have an external locus of control. So meaning the external locus of control is that they get affected by the world around them. Yes. Me, I, I am trying to affect the world around me by doing, you know, okay. instead of letting things happen. You know? so, okay, all right, okay, interesting. You know, I try and make things happen instead of letting them happen. You know? Okay. And I, that's where I try and help my clients with trying to get them into that I lock mindset instead of having in, in an internal locus of control. So do you not have a moment where you feel in distress where you need to turn to God? Uh, I turn to God, I pray. Okay, if you can, someone can say if you're a, um, a cognitive hypnotherapist, hypnotherapist uh, why would you need to turn to God? Uh, what would you turn to God for? Uh, what would I turn to God for? Like, 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 it's uh, normal, it's, there's nothing wrong with maybe, it. Like. Maybe taking some sort of, um, taking solace. Okay. You know, uh, confiding, just, you know, it's almost like having someone to talk to okay. and to divulge. It's almost like having your own personal therapist, you know? Okay, you know? okay, so okay. You can, you, Interesting. The only difference is... So even the therapist needs a therapist? Of course, I go to, I have a therapist. I have a therapist. We're talking about God Almighty. Yeah. Obviously, we don't call him a therapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we're saying is, that we all turn them because the, these flaws that we have of distress, anger, anxiety, fear, yeah. these are things that Allah says in the Quran that He will test us with. So, what that means, we believe this life is a test, yeah. and we have these things because if we didn't have these shortfalls, mm. we would not turn to God Almighty. He's the most perfect one, maximally perfect being, and we turn to Him because we have these shortfalls. We sin, we get angry, mm. we do things that we shouldn't do. But God says that always remember that I'm here for you. Yeah. Turn to me. Yeah. Find help in me. And yeah. that's why Allah says in the Quran, only in the remembrance of your Lord do hearts find peace. Yeah. And if you forget my remembrance, you will have a depressed life. So the cure is that we are programmed to find happiness in his remembrance. Mm. So we call, like in our religion, for example, there are extra things that we go through. You know, as a hypnotherapist, that we have things as well of doing dhikr, remembering God Almighty. Yeah. So we have moments where we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, La ilaha illallah. Yeah. It's a form of remembering God. Yeah, yeah. Then we have dua, which we pray wherever we can. Yeah. Then we have that one-to-one -one connection when we pray salah. Mm. We pray five times a day. Then we remember God when we eat. Yeah. When we abstain from sins, we're remembering God because His remembrance is causing us to abstain from it. Yeah. 
So we have him in our life throughout. Okay. And we believe that when we die, we're going to need him. On yeah, the yeah. day of judgment, we're going to need him. Yeah. All the way to paradise. So okay. that's our way, way of finding this solace and finding this calm and yeah, peace yeah. and tranquility and the purpose of life also. Yeah. Because most of the times, the purpose of life is not something that a hypnotherapist can answer. It's no, not something, yeah. I, don't, I don't answer yeah, any yeah, of my yeah, clients' yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. I, want to, I want to try and get them to their own answers. Exactly. You know, so yeah. it's like um, one of the things that we take stock in is um, the mind is a map, but that doesn't mean it's a territory. You know, so you've, you've got your map, I've got my map, but we don't need to invade each other. You know, we don't need to, that's, you've got your way and I don't, I don't mean to change anyone's model of yes, the world. Yes, yes. I just want to help improve, them. improve your model of the world. Be the best at what you're doing. Exactly. I want you to be the ultimate expression of yourself, the best version of yourself. That's okay. my intention and that's okay. what you're coming to pay me for. You okay. Know? Like, as, okay. A, as a cognitive hypnotherapist. Do you do, when you do this, do you do anything like where it's physically been touched or like the head? Um, so I, I, I've also got, I've got, uh, I've got a few, I've got a few techniques. That so I what's use. one? Uh, so I use EFT, which is emotional freedom tapping, and this is proven to lower your cortisol levels by 20% instantly. Okay. Uh, and it's proven to work help, helping uh, soldiers that have come back from war-torn countries and they've got severe PTSD. It's proven to so help what, them. What is in, it? Um, so basically, can you show me? You've got, you've got, it's, it's, it's non-needle ac acupuncture, okay. and I tap. You tap here, okay. yeah? yeah. You tap here, here. Okay, do it, do it on me, let me see. Okay, so you go do, there. Can you do it with your, uh, okay, come this side. Yeah. Do it okay. with your right arm. Right arm, okay, yeah. so it's... Okay, you do I need to be in a have, certain mode? Have, no, no, you also have to have an affirmation, some sort of something that, uh, a guiding thing. So for someone that's experienced PTSD, okay. I'll say, and it's like, let's say soldiers, they've done horrible things, okay, and yeah. they feel guilty, they'll say, They'll go, even though I have done these horrible things, I still love and accept myself, yeah? Because they was forced to do those so things. So I do it to myself or you do it? You do it to yourself. This oh, is something so, that you oh, can do. So, okay, can you do I it? I teach you how to do it and then you can okay, do it okay, when so you're how, at home. I don't have a PTSD, but let's say. No, 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 all right, so you go. So I'm just going to show you the spots, mirror me. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so mirror me. Yeah? No, no, can you do it on me? Let me all see. Right, so, so it's here, I want to say. All right, okay. trying to, is this something where you're going to try and disprove me no, so it doesn't no, no, work? No, 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 Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, All right. There's some, but you know, there's some crazy ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So okay. yeah, even okay. though, even though, I, even though Christians bother you, yes. I still, you still love and accept yourself. Okay. Yeah? Even though Christians bother me, I still love and accept myself. Yeah. Uh, even though Christians bother you, you still love and accept yourself. Yes. Even though Christians yeah. bother me, and I want to, you yeah. know, uh, yes, but yeah. I, I accept myself. Uh, uh, there's one here that's just above the lip. I'm okay. Just gonna, yeah. Yeah. Even though you got this, yeah. you still love and accept still yourself. Still love and accept yeah? yourself. Yeah. And then there's one here in the collarbone. Yes. Yeah. One there, the oh, I'm a bit ticklish. And then, and then there's one here. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. That's good, yeah. Okay, interesting. So it's just a method that you use. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think in Islam, there's room for stuff like this where you're, you know, you're trying to, you know, if they've got PTSD, etc. Yeah, what you yeah. said, it's understandable. As long yeah. as you know, if you came and said to me, if you was doing that, and you started speaking some different language. No, of course, like, of course. You know, yeah, then yeah, I, yeah. then I start reading. I ask a no, question. No, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain primary yes. that you have to do okay, with your I client, see. and you, you know. Interesting. Okay, that's very interesting. So you did talk about before that that about being a good person. Yeah. We believe the best form of being good is being good to God. Okay. Now when I mean being good to God, it means that for example, we only truly believe somebody is good with their relationship to God Almighty. Okay. It doesn't make sense for me to be good to everyone and give charity yeah. and I disregard the creator who created me yeah. and I don't acknowledge him yeah. and I don't worship him when he is worthy of worship. Yeah. Our concept of good is this. Yeah. So, would you not agree that our Creator has created us? Yeah. Would you believe in His will? That He deserves worship, He deserves our recognition, He deserves our obedience. Obedience? Yes, obedience, like full obedience. What, what, what does that entail, obedience? I know it comes with its, you know... What, what, what does obedience entail? Submission. Okay, and, and what, what does the submission entail? So, for example, that... I trust him in my affairs, in my life. Yeah. So I make, make, I might make a decision, but I believe his decision is better for me. So when I'm doing something, I ask him, God, if yeah. you believe, like we have something called istikhara in Islam. This is mainly used before you get married, but you can do it for anything. Yeah. 
So I'm going to apply for a job. Yeah. I pray two units of prayer and I read the, the prayer of Istikhara, yeah. which along the lines of, God, if you believe this is good for me, my life, in this life, in the hereafter, make it good for me. If you believe it is bad for myself in this life, in the hereafter, move it for me and move me from it. So basically, it's that I trust God in his, my decisions. Uh, I, and, and I ask for his mat help in my affairs. Yeah, yeah. If I face a calamity, I accept that this is the best thing that could happen for me. Yeah. I submit my will I, instead of saying, why does this happen to me? No, I, I, said, I said that when we first started. I said, yes. I said um, I, I'm confident yes. in what God has given me. Good. You know? that's, you have and, that, and, see? Yeah. And that's, Good. And that's that whole thing of an external locus okay. of control. And okay, an internal locus okay. Of control. so you're in the same you track know? here. So and as Muslims, we believe the same thing, which is, that once you come to terms with that you become more at peace and that connection because you know god has got your back and is taking care of you in this life and in the hereafter yeah. so when it comes to my earnings i know god has written it down for me i'm not going to go and steal or if i have a chicken shop and five more chicken shops over next to me it doesn't phase me at the least because i know what's written to me will reach me and I know what's not destined for me will never come to me. And I'd like to think that you'd hopefully try and make your recipe better. So you're like, you're, you know. Yeah, exactly. So we believe the best form of myself is once I became, once I become fully obedient and submissive to God. I believe that's where I become the best of myself. And I believe that every human being becomes the best of their self when they have a relationship with God Almighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel I've got a very... Yeah, we've got similar things. Yeah, 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 yeah. very, very, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm quite happy. I, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not here to. I'm, I'm not going to change your mind on anything. No, 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 I, no, no, I, no, no same, a, same. I was uh, discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a as a cognitive hypnotherapist, I'm not there to. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just want you to be the best version yeah, yeah, of yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I want the, you to be the best version of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having that connection with God, but also you already do, but also understanding who He is, because you can't truly worship someone if you don't know who they are. Okay. So, have you ever read about Islam or anything? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's, I, see, this is a thing where, yeah. I, where we bring in a, a subjective morality into it because, okay. they, like, think of it as bubbles, you yeah. know, like bubbles of subjective morality. Yes. But the all-encompassing is God, you know, God okay. is all-encompassing. Yeah. Okay. People just taking little bits and drips and drabs yeah. from these things to define yes. their bubble, mm -hmm. you know, and that's yeah. what's kept them safe within their society. Okay. So, and the thing is, with, with internet and with the way the world is going, yeah. it's, it's becoming a lot smaller. So yeah. these bubbles are joining together. It's almost like they're, they're overlapping, yes. in a sense, you know? Yeah. But we're still, we're all still inside that big bubble. Of course, you know? of course. Yeah, of no, the objective morality. We are, we are all the creation of God. Yeah. And we believe we're here for a test. Yeah. But there's and, also yeah. people out there that don't believe that in God at all. Yes. You know? Yes. And they still manage to live happy lives, just lives, and um, without without causing harm to people. Of course, but the but the thing is, they cause the they don't cause harm to people, but they cause harm to themselves. So for someone to deny God, knowing God exists, yeah. they are they are benefiting people around them, but they're causing the greatest harm to themselves. Yeah. Because we believe the greatest benefit has to start from me. If I'm drowning, I can't help other people. Do, do you think God would be offended of the non-believers? I want to say... Even if they're still being good people. Okay, so what I'm saying is, that's why I wanted to bring it to this. Our definition of good is the one who's obedient to God Almighty. Would I be good if I slap my mom and I come and be good to everybody? Am I good or bad? You're pretty bad. Okay, the same goes with God Almighty. What's the point being good to everyone but neglecting the one who is sustaining me, who has created me? But then it's almost like an oxymoron. It's like an oxymoron in a sense because what? you're going from um, you're going from I I don't I I don't think God will. Uh, I think God will smite these people down. Smite who? Uh, the non-believers. Okay. Yeah? Uh, will not like won't, won't grant them access to heaven. When okay. I say that. Yeah. Know? Uh, we won't get grant them access to heaven, but even so, so you're saying what, it kind of sounded like what you're saying is if I accept God, I can still be a bad person as long as I accept God. No, 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 because that is what is good. No, no, what I'm saying is this let me just clarify. Sorry, so maybe it's my fault. So basically, what I'm saying is the ultimate base of everything starting is that connection to God Almighty, gratitude. Mm -hmm. 
from there onwards, Islam gives heavy emphasis of the rights of people. Very, very heavy emphasis that you can sin against God and you can repent. But if I violate your rights, yeah. I have to seek your forgiveness. Okay. So repenting to God is not enough because yeah, yeah. I've wronged your rights. Yeah, so yeah. I need to repent to God and also ask your forgiveness. So Islam gives heavy emphasis on the rights of human beings. But then there's a story of um, of uh, a, a prostitute yes. feeding. Was it a feed? Give, a, feed uh, a, I think it's a dog. Yes. Feeding a, feeding a pup. In a yes, feed, a dog. Yeah? Yes. And she was no. granted access. Paradise. To yes. Yeah, without even yeah. taking shahada. No, no, no. But we believe she was a Muslim. But Okay, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is from Bani Israel, it's, it's, okay. it's sayings of the uh, children of Israel. Okay. So this woman, and there's another one which was a woman who uh, starved a cat to death okay. and she ended up in a hellfire. Yeah, so the, the matter is, yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. But the thing the matter is that they are, this woman who did this, the foundations were what? She believed in God, but she was a sinner. Yeah. So you see the foundations, what? The connection with God is there, but she falls short. Now we all have connections to God, we're all sinners. We all sin, he sins, I sin, we all sin. But the basis is what? That the only thing that God will never forgive is associating partners to him. So me giving the credit what God has done to me and saying, I thank Jesus. Why are you thanking Jesus? Jesus was created by God. Or I thank him, Prophet Muhammad and saying, oh, thank you, Muhammad. No, the credit belongs to God. Yeah? yeah. What we're doing is that's the base. That there is your, your obedience and submissive to God. Okay, now you might drink alcohol. You might do things what God told you not to. However, you have the basis which is there. What you're still doing is wrong, requires repentance. But eventually, these individuals might end up in hellfire or God might choose to forgive them. Yeah. But the foundation is what? Being good to God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd say I am good to God because yeah. I, I treat my fellow man, his creation. Not only that, you acknowledge him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that you acknowledge God, yeah. that you believe in him, that you, we have some commonalities yeah. is a good start because you have that relationship with him. If you denied him, it yeah. goes back to me abusing my mom or slapping my mom and then coming and saying, Ali's a very charitable to everyone. Who cares? Yeah. If you're bad to your mom, yeah, who cares yeah. what you do yeah, to yeah, anyone yeah, exactly. else? So that's what it is. But we've got commonalities, yeah, very yeah, commonalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can I give you these two? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 But it was nice. He's, a, hypno, a, hypno, he's a, a cognitive hypno, hypnotherapist yeah. and he showed me some points that like hit the head yeah. and say stuff like points. It's so, just, we call that non-needle acupuncture yes, as well. Yes, you know? yes. But it's good, it will, help, it will help lower your stress levels. So you know you're, you're Muslim then as well then? No, 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 no it's not. It's not, it's not. But he believes in God. I believe in God. As a profession he does that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't read the Bible, I don't read the Quran. Uh, we need to give you a Quran. Why don't you read the Quran it? at home. Why don't you read it? I do read it, but I've just been, I've had, been had, I've had to study a lot no this problem. past year. That's fine. And um, I had to study for my career. Not you know, totally understandable. I'm not going to become the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You, you might never do. know. You, you, know. Never know. You, never know. you never know. Before you open the Quran, yeah. pray. You believe in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, God, if this is the truth, yeah. guide me. Okay. That's all you need to say. Right. I did this 10 years ago. All right. Okay. Lovely looking okay. today. Yeah, yeah. Very nice gentleman. He used to be five foot tall, now he's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Sweet, mate. No, thank you, I really appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I, le I learned a lot. Yeah, 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 I'm no, going to do it to him. Yeah, yeah. Don't get upset. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the points properly, yeah? Yeah, so go on. So it's here, yeah? Here. Yeah. Top of the head. Yeah. Eye. Here. Oh, eyebrow? It, yeah, eyebrow. It's like a question mark. So this point, this point, and this point. Yeah? Okay. And then you go to this point here. Yeah. Below the chin. Yeah. Collarbones. Collarbones. Yeah. Yeah? And then under the arm. Oh, no, yeah? I can't do that, mate. Yeah, yeah, you, can, I, you, I can't, tickle. you can't tickle yourself. Yeah, yeah. You can't tickle yourself. But yeah, that's that. That's right? interesting. I don't can't tickle yeah, myself. It releases stress. It releases stress by 20% instantly. You know? It's great. They use it on the water on, on the soldiers with PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. And it, 90 days of treatment, the PTSD is gone. Interesting. Well, you know? guys, I hope you enjoyed yeah, that. You can try and, it at home. And, uh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. If you want to check out my website, yeah. missingpeacetherapy.com. Okay, yeah, okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So guys, if you have an issue with your wife, tell her, tap the head, leave me alone. Oh, sisters, you can do the same to your husband. Get out the house. Yeah. <laughs> Till next care. time, assalamu alaikum. Take care, bro, look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, Thank you very much, take care. Oh, yeah.